that right. are so supportive of their 12, 13 year old son just going to tournaments full of like all like look at us. Jesus yep. Christ. Yeah. Anyway, Fox did it. Anyway, the Fox parents are definitely gonna be watching this because we got <laughs> some crazy hype Fox diddles here. Hacks versus Kaon of Losers Quarters. Ooh, Hacks almost sniped that. And he, the, he's been going for that a little bit this tournament. I've been watching is that people like to sweet spot. See, he tried to go for it again. People like to s hold their second jump and then sweet spot the ledge. So he would just run off and shine them right before they grab the ledge. With the second jump? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really good tactic. Uh, running shine so broken. Yeah. Okay, I like the fade back near. Uh, tried to bait an approach out of him, which it worked, and he got a free grab. Mm -hmm. Wow, Axe covering almost every option there. Oh, up smash. Felt like he wanted to go for up air. Okay, back air could still... Okay, he up beat a little bit too late. Way too late. He had a chance, but then most likely he would have just got bared again. Yeah, if he buffered the up B input, I guess it would have been better for him. At, at the same time, Hax is pretty good at closing those out. Yeah. That was really smart by Hax. You know, he saw that KM was on top platform, so he's, Ooh, he just waited and shielded. He's like, oh, you know, everybody likes a shield drop nowadays, so just yeah, in case yeah. he shield drop back airs, I could perfect shine out of shield. He, he always has the next step planned out, which is something I really admire. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, box. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's looking really clean, though, with the box. Oh, yeah. He's he, looking nice and clean. Yeah, he's been putting in a lot of hours. And thank goodness that, the you know, the box exists, because then he gets to play this game, because it was at a point where he was so sad that he couldn't play, because he literally can't play with GameCube controllers anymore. It's sad. Yeah. But I'm, I'm glad there was a solution. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but... Kayon trying to find a solution here in this neutral. <laughs> Kayon hurting to find a solution. But, I mean, it's not too big yeah, of a it's deficit. Not, yeah, it's Fox Diddles. You know, he you, can just get, get a, a grab right grab there. Look, and then, and yeah. Then, oh, oh wow. Dead, but he, it looked like he got counter -shine. The coverage by Hax, but amazing side B right there. I don't, feel, right. I don't feel like people use that dash attack enough on the side B. Mm -hmm. It's really solid. Yeah, yeah. It, it covers everything. Just in case you miss your initial back air, mm -hmm. you can immediately dash attack. Okay, goes a little too deep on that edge guard attempt. Yep. Axe just waits, double jumps completely out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and now Kaon. Hack's looking a little bit like me. He's like, oh, okay, you know, I have the lead. You're going to stay there by the ledge? I, right, I'm finally, finally going to start using the laser. Right. Yeah. Um, Kaon lost his stock there from an air dodge. Kind of looked like he was trying to get tech and he was late. Yeah. It looks like a late OMS attack, which actually can, it really can cause you to SD like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, there's not, that was nice. Gets the grab. Um, yeah, Kaon is going for that setup a little bit too much. And that's, you know, the Kaon special, right? Whenever you're near the ledge, he'll, like, try to go... Uh, he'll, like, try to just back throw you or forward throw you into, like, jump shine. And he goes in the same area every time. Like, I understand the setups, but sometimes you got to mix it up. Oh, absolutely. Um, and uh, adaptation always taking... A huge part of these sets. Oh, yeah. And Kaon getting three stocked on Battlefield. Not looking too good for him so far. Fountain of Dreams for the counter pick. I'm sure, he, I guess he's not feeling too hot in the, you know, it's weird. Because Fox Dittos, you have the guy, that one guy that counter picks FD, and you're like, oh, man, I have to chain grab. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, there's a lot of players that just really prefer the platforms and uh, just the punish game off of grab instead of just chain grabbing across the stage. But it looks like I'm wrong because you can get four of them on Fountain of Dreams. Yep. <laughs> and that's so the jump. thing, right, because it's a mix of because Hacks is really good on those setups, especially on Battlefield where they'll tech chase you to mm -hmm. death with up throws, even on top platform. But since it's so RNG on this stage with the platforms, it right. could mess up Hacks in the setups. But as I say that, he takes the first stock here in this yeah. game. And that might have been his thought process when considering the counter pick, but charged up smash, definitely not what he wanted. Yep. Oh, ooh, Jesus. and I love that setup by Hax. He does late up air, so if you tech in place, he'll just shine you. If you tech away, he'll jump, run, jump, cancel, grab you. So that's an amazing setup by him. And if not, oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah, it's Hax, man. You know, he most of the time he's going to go for that ledge, baby. Yeah, he's going to go for the ledge, especially when he can react to that. Oh, he had time to make a sandwich before getting that ledge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I mean, that charge up smash. And sometimes you do charge something like that, and you're like, you know what? I'm just going to keep charging this thing. Yep. That's but super full late rising bear from Hax. Amazing way to edge guard that angle. Yep. Gets the he, he drills him from he drills him backwards. It was a little awkward, so his drill shine doesn't really turn into much. Yeah. Really hard to execute from there. What kind of sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, Hacks almost got that perfect spacing right there. Double jet. Okay, so I thought he was going to go for an up tilt. Uh, oh, oh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, Hack's not looking too happy about that, but you know, still tight battle. Oh yeah, he's still fine. He's still he's still holding the lead despite that. Ooh, the ramenist of the noodles, my man. It was fresh out. He unplugged yo, the microwave. Yo, for real, that was fresh like. <laughs> and then he just stopped it right away, and then he opened it. The steam came out. <laughs> yo, that was crazy. Yo, Hacks. Oh man, that was. Really nice. Yeah. So now he can just hold this. He's holding center. Mm -hmm. He's got Cam in the corner. Cam's. Oh, oh my God, this pressure. <laughs> he's done. He's going for he's it. He's done. Oh, oh okay. no. He, he second guessed himself. He thought about it, but he's like, I don't like the positioning that I'm in right there. The wrong oh, oh my God, and he got him again. Yo, I think his girlfriend is at his house and he had to give her a second one. Yo, that's <laughs> crazy. Yo, <laughs> he got him twice. How much that. is one pack? Like ten cents. It's like I don't it's hit him with the twenty cheap. cents. <laughs> oh my god! You buy a whole box. It's like seventy-five cents. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, people. It's 2017. Sometimes you just gotta grab the ledge. <laughs> oh, oh, the, the, yeah. The worst. What's oh going on? Oh my god! What's, what's going, going on? on? I'm scared. Oh I'm scared. yeah. So the reason why <laughs> Hacks went for that type of shine instead of the top one is because mm. it's easier to get the shine gim from the bottom of Fox's up B than the top. Right. Oh, wow, that was a fair. Okay. And it's safer at the same time. Oh, looked like Hax missed his punish right there. Fair. Yep. Fair. Yep. Okay, just grab that ledge. No damage from the lasers coming down. Really nice. Uh, tight battle. Can Can's literally standing there, and he's still... Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like, he's always going for it. And he's like, going to die for that. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think that's the turning point in the set. Where Kaon sits there and realizes, okay, that strategy is not gonna yeah, work. Yeah, it again. hasn't been working yet. Oh, oh wait! I look like Hacks oh, oh what the heck! Man, that amazing angle, but too. Okay, he's still this is yeah, chance. Yep, there, amazing yeah. stuff right there from Kaon. Kaon is really efficient at getting those shines. And he's gonna get another drill for the setup on the shine. And wow! He okay, just so maybe the playstyle is working. Yo, he <laughs> just looked at him and said, "You know what, man." <laughs> that was it, like super smooth. If if it is broke, still don't fix it. That's what Kayon just did. <laughs> like, he's like, I'm gonna, he's not gonna expect me to do it a fifth time. <laughs> yeah, Kayon is like, you know what, man? Yes, I, I got you, DJ. Watch, <laughs> just watch, watch. <laughs> yeah, oh like he's no! He's gonna go for it again. Oh my God! And almost Thank got God. that bear because yeah. definitely he would have went for it to seal the game. Okay. Yup. Get that damage in. Oh, he actually could have gotten a dash attack right after, right before grabbing that ledge. And Hack should know better at this point. He just runs right into the up tilt. Oh, He's okay, done. yeah. <laughs> definitely wanted to do a super angle, but Kaon right now is finally on the board. Those back throw shines are definitely working out this time. And his charged up smash is on the ledge. <laughs> Did it three times that game. And Hack said, forget you. I want Randall. <laughs> I want everything in the world that can prevent you from back throw shining me. Yeah. So I'm going to go to Yoshi's. <laughs> He's like, if, I, if we play this man on man, I got this. But if you keep holding that side of the stage and I keep approaching, I'm going to lose. <laughs> yeah. All right, so very fundamental kind of set here. Oh, yeah. You have to just kind of understand what's going on. Uh, have, a, have a general awareness of what's going on around you to kind of win this set. And Ooh, it Kaon. looks like a hand warmer, honestly. It, it really does, yeah. <laughs> They're just doing nares and like dashing around each other and just kind of completely disregarding each other's space. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was an amazing recovery by Kaon. And then the shine and no tech. Yeah, he expected to just go the other way. Yeah. But um And you saw him try to up E2. You saw that he reacted in time. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. Okay, <laughs> bye. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> see you later, dude. He's like, oh, you wanted this ledge? Let me cop that real quick. Bro. All right, so see, Kaon is definitely, like, going back to his roots, you could say. You know, he's just being super patient. He's like, yep, I'm just going to stay over here, you know, really, like, take my time to approach, make him come over here, try to get another setup where I can get a back throw shine or at least easy damage, just like this. Oh, oh looks like he misses that. Oh, nice. All right. Okay. Punish game on Fleek. Wow. Box punish. Punish game on fleek? Oh. <laughs> Shine bear. No, sorry, tough guy. Yep. <laughs> You're not going to get that. Uh, still at 96%. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, but really nice punish by Hax. Yep. And of course, you know, there's there's the on-stage fighting. When Hax gets an opening, that happens. When Kaon gets an opening, it's a back... Wow. Mario Kart DI. You see that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
He actually. Wow, that's crazy. The blue shell's coming. He's like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sweep the floor. Okay. Tries to kick him with the bear. It's like. Oh. Wow, hacks in that spacing. You know in that situation when somebody gets knocked down and they tech, they immediately want to go in, but Kaon is not having it. He's like, you know what, man? I got you. Check this shine real quick. Okay, there's the spot dodge. Yeah, yeah. Kaon was kind of going for the last couple hits of dare into grab. Mm -hmm. uh, hacks now trying to understand that maybe he should try not to go over there and get down here, yeah. especially when he has a lead. Eventually, you have to dumb the game down to, I have a lead, you come to me. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a gun, but so do I. You have to dumb the game down that hard sometimes. Yeah, it's like, you know, the same character, same tools. Yeah, exactly. And he could also stay on the other side, make him approach, and back throw Shine him back. Oh. But Randall forces him to suck at edge guarding that. Yeah. He's good. Oh, oh no, yo. No. NTSC Yoshi's. Fox. NTSC Fox. That's why you just do one. Oh, no. That's why you just do one bear, just in case. Yeah. Oh, just him. in case you do the cover bear, but, you know. Oh, good oh, yeah. God. He, he, yeah, he, he's going to go for it every time. Man. Every time he back throws, I just I get so stressed out. And ha and Hex has been jumping super late. So uh -huh. maybe for the next one, he'll jump high. So let's see if Kaon recognizes it, if he gets that opportunity. Yeah. Hex pressuring him, even though he's kind of down in percent. But, yeah. oh, wow, that trade really worked oh, out for Oh, man. I think if uh, what Kaon tried to go for right there is when he got that nair, he thought he would land on the platform, no tech, and then down tilt into up air and, like, just won the game right there. Oh, that's... Oh. Okay, rising bear. Yeah. There's the shine stall, and that's going to do it. Yep, Despite do that it. really low percent SD, he's still going to take it. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a doubt in my mind that Hax was going to finish the set out. Because if this went to game five and he got too antsy, yeah, yeah. that could have been a K on thing. But. All right. So, uh, good Winner's stuff. finals. Good stuff to K on for getting fifth.